Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, I have a line of videos that I'm pretty excited about. So as you probably know, anybody could build and sell a PC on sites like eBay, OfferUp, Craigslist. So in this little series of videos, I'm gonna be checking out gaming PCs on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and OfferUp and see, you know, just how much of a ripoff it is, if it is a ripoff, or how good of a value you're getting if you're actually getting a pretty good gaming PC for a good price. Either one is possible, but I think we're gonna be seeing some extremely old PCs for high prices, which is simply just not worth it. In this particular episode, we're gonna be checking out gaming PCs on eBay. Now, I've been shopping on eBay since like 2007. I was nine years old, and so far I haven't had a bad experience on eBay. But if you've had a bad experience, I know it's common, tell me in the comment section below. And what was the outcome? Did you get ripped off and that's it? Or did you end up getting a refund or something? Cause I know eBay has like a money back policy or something like that, they protect the consumer. I don't know if sites like Craigslist have that as well. So we're gonna check out some gaming PCs on eBay. Leave a like, a comment down below, and consider subscribing. And let's just search gaming PC. Let's see what comes up here. First one that comes up has an i5, 3.2 gigahertz. Okay, just as I expected. Uh, it says it has an i5, 3.2 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, Windows 10, Wi-Fi, Radeon 7470, 1 gig. 602 sold, more than 10 available. So just as I expected, i5, and they don't show, you know, what model it is, what year it came out. Radeon 7470 1 gig, that has to be old. 8 gigs of RAM, they don't show the speed or if it's whether it's DDR3, DDR4. Let's take a look at the pictures here. Once again, RGB fans, of course, because you know everything modern has RGB. Anybody looking for a gaming PC nowadays wants to see that RGB, and they have the remote right there to change the lighting, lighting strip. Cable management looks from the front it looks decent, but I mean you have those mustard colored cables. Nowadays, you know, if you have those cables, it's probably a sign that you have a cheap power supply. Uh, it has the Intel stock cooler, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I don't even think this processor is overclockable. And someone buying a PC is not going to be overclocking. So we have more pictures here, different colors. Let's take a look. Okay. Intel Core i5 650. Is that like first gen or something? Because right now we're like on 9000, 9th gen. Even the one in my computer, it's 7th gen. Uh, and that came out two years ago in 2017, so let's Google it. Jeez, January 2019, it's this one right here. January 20, I mean 2010, did I say 2019? Clarkdale. That's a decade ago, 10 years ago, 9 years ago. And they're selling it for what price? 300 and what? 380 plus $30 shipping? You gotta be kidding me. What about this graphics card? The graphics card came out in 2012, so that's uh, seven years ago too. And the RAM has to be DDR, even like DDR2, DDR3. Runs Fortnite average 27 FPS, low graphics without any lag, yup. Wait, low graphics setting without any lag 27 FPS? I doubt it. If it's 27 the average, then what's the low? If it's below 20? Even at, you know, 20, it's gonna lag. It's not smooth at all. I could already tell this is not, you know, worth it. It shows pictures of these games, but it can't run Black Ops 4 for sure. Let's take a look at another one. So, already the first computer we look at, outdated and not worth it. Let's take a look at this one, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be paying more attention to the RGB stuff, the fans here. I have to read the feedback one of these days, but I don't want to make this video like 20 minutes long. So, it has a Core i5, NVIDIA 1050 Ti, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, one terabyte windows 10 okay we believe in reliability quality and affordability how much is this thing 540 bucks plus how much free shipping okay fully activated windows 10 pro that doesn't mean anything you get windows 10 pro for 12 dollars on SCD key i made a video about it intel core i5 processor which one though doesn't say which one gtx 1050 ti 8 gigs of memory doesn't say the speed doesn't say ddr3 ddr4 one terabyte hard drive does not say the speed either or the brand it only says genuine windows 10 professional 64-bit no bloatware of course monitor not included just the fact that they're not even giving you the specific intel core processor should be a red flag i'm assuming it's going to be a similar processor to the one we saw previously one that was almost 10 years old this one might be you know from 2012 2013 either way it's still old they're claiming that it's going to play fortnite on 90 fps plus or minus on high with the 1050 ti i could see that but depending on how old the processor is, you might be bottlenecking it. Definitely, you're not going to be able to play games like GTA 
or any newer games on that processor. If it's a newer one, then I guess it would be a good price. But once again, we don't know the exact information on it. So I would say this is a red flag as well. If I built a computer and I listed it on eBay, I would say everything, you know, the processor, the exact model of it, the speed, the motherboard, nobody's saying anything about the motherboard. I just noticed that or the power supply. That's normally where they tend to cheap out on. They choose the cheapest power supply they could get. That's why you see so many mustard cables. Let's take a look at this one. This one has an i7 for, oh, it's an auction. Well, it has 40 bits. Let's see what people are bidding on. Core i7, 3.8 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 120 gig SSD, and a 2 terabyte hard drive, and a GTX 1060. So far, so good. Once again, they don't show which uh, processor it is exactly. Three RGB fans. Okay, they tell you that. 450 watt, 80 plus certified power supply. Okay, finally, somebody says something about the power supply. Core i7, 2600. That one is also from, what, 2012, 2013? 3.G8 HZ Turbo. 3.4 gigahertz. They tell you about the motherboard. 16 gigs of 1600 megahertz uh, RAM. Gaming memory RAM. I'm not sure if that's, you know, an actual thing. 120 gig SSD boot drive. 2 gig, 2 terabyte. Okay, at least this person seems like they, you know, kind of know what they're talking about. It even comes with a DVD burner. And a GeForce GTX 1060. It's the 3 gig card, not the 6 gig. Windows 10 Pro and a standard one year warranty for how much 485 so far so and this has eight days left with 40 people bidding so i'm, I'm assuming this is going to go to something a little bit over 600 probably i just don't see how it's worth it once again with that processor you know seven years old 1050 ti how much is the 1050 ti like 150 bucks maybe even less now you, if you could buy it used it's even lower than that you could build a pretty good ryzen cpu based system with a 1050 ti you know for a similar price and get better performance not only for gaming but also you you know if you're trying to edit or something because with this processor editing a video now it's probably not going to be ideal because once again this processor is intel second generation so oh so this processor is even older than i thought if it came out in a similar time to these then it came out in 2011 maybe early 2012 but sandy bridge man these processors are old so once again i would say this is not worth it people are just they're getting fooled by the rgb-ness this one is surely gonna have a lot of bits oh it says right there 40 bits once again 325 bucks it's brand new apparently 27 dollars shipping they show pictures of the tower here and a bunch of games not sure what that means uh let's take a look at the specs here motherboard z77 extreme 4 i'm still relatively new to computers and all that stuff i'm still learning myself so some of these motherboards may not seem, you know, familiar to me. Even these processors, I have to look them up and stuff. I'm assuming this one came out in early 20, 2013 since the other one came out in 2012 or 2011. With a thermal take cooler, so finally someone's not using the standard Intel cooler. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM. 120 gig SSD, 3 terabytes of hard drive. Okay, so far so good. 1060 doesn't say if it's the 3 gig or 6 gig variant. EVGA 600 watt bronze power supply. Thermaltake V200. We got some RGB fans. Windows 10. 3 month warranty. If it sells for that price, it's so far it's it's good. We're fine because it also comes with an SSD, a GTX 1060, and a decent power supply. So so far we're good. And it, they claim here that it could play Fortnite at 120 FPS. I don't know about that. If it's the Actually, you know, Fortnite's pretty easy to run, so yes. PUBG, though, I don't know. If it's the 1060 3 gig variant, I'm not sure how PUBG will run. PUBG is a pretty demanding game, so they don't say anything about the settings here, so they could be running at 90 plus FPS with the lowest settings presets. We don't know. Overwatch is another game that's pretty easy to run, so I'm not surprised with Fortnite or Overwatch, but PUBG and, you know, a game of that type, Black Ops 4 or something, we don't know if it's going to be running at 60 FPS with medium to high settings you might be playing at you know really low settings which is not ideal a trend we've been seeing with all of these posts so far is that they don't say exactly i mean this one is saying the specifications they don't say about the graphics card whether it's a three or six gig variant but they at least say that it's a 1060 but for the settings here they don't say whether you're running the game at medium settings low settings so many of these could be misleading but once again for someone who doesn't really know about computers they would see the fans right here and think that you know this computer is pretty good when really they might not be so i think i'm gonna end the video here we took a look at four or five computers and a trend we saw with all of them is that they're using old processors almost 10 years old in some cases actually the latest one was like from 2013 right the 3590k or whatever so they're all using old processors and cheap graphics cards some graphics cards were the you know the newer models well the, now they're like three years old but they were relatively new but with really old processors and old motherboards to support those processors you're probably not going to get good performance in modern games you might get good performance in games like fortnite uh, minecraft you know simple games like that but if you're trying to play black ops 4 gta 
PUBG, H1Z1, then you're probably not gonna have very good performance with a system like this one. You're probably better off getting an Xbox One or a PS4 Pro, because they are of a similar price. And that's only talking about gaming. If you're trying to record videos for YouTube while gaming on your computer or edit videos with an editing software, you're gonna need a, a newer CPU, a newer processor, because the old ones are just not gonna be strong enough. So that's gonna be it for this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. If you wanna see more of these videos, also tell me below. Leave a like if you liked and consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.